Good afternoon and welcome back to today's video. Currently in Welling, Ethan, uh, George's brother, is racing the Welling track lead tonight. I've taken him down. Whilst he's getting warmed up and set up before his first race, I'm nipping out for a quick ride. Today's a rest day for me, but I'm racing tomorrow afternoon. So I'm just out today to do about 45 minutes of steady spinning to keep the legs ticking over and loose before tomorrow's race. And I have no idea where I am or where I'm headed, but um, I'm just gonna ride out for 20, 25 minutes, turn around and follow my Garmin back home to, uh, back home to the track. So I have actually raced the track once before. It was here actually in Welling for the Welling uh, Friday Night Track League. And it was the first time I've ever touched a track bike in my life. And I just didn't have a clue what was going on. There was this one race in particular, the Devil, which is the elimination race, which on paper, you know, one person gets dropped every lap, the last person they, they get eliminated. It sounds pretty basic, right? However, towards the end of the race, it started becoming every other lap a rider got dropped. I made it quite comfortably into the final three. And then it was, it was the third lap that we all sprinted for the line and the winner was the winner of that third lap and I thought we were still in the second lap so I started sprinting on the second lap. I came across the line first thinking I've won, Not my first ever track race I'm doing the, the, the devil and I've won. And then the other two guys I was in the final with just came straight past me and then they sprinted the next time round. I had no idea what was going on. As you can imagine that night didn't end very successfully. I was going to race again tonight, but I think I need a little bit more practice first on the track, riding a track bike, getting an understanding of the races that you do on the track before I race again. All right, got back to the car park, got back, changed into my normal clothes. Now I'm going to head down to the track, but first I'm going to try and find somewhere where I can grab a coffee or something. Events on tonight's programming. Uh, scratch, handicap, uh, points, and 10 mile scratch race. So what's first, a scratch race? Yeah, scratch. Yeah. What is a scratch race? Talk to me. Explain what a scratch race is. Uh, it's basically a road race on the track. All right. How many laps? Uh, this one's 10. All right, so Ethan's on the track now for his race, but um, it's just started raining. And apparently when, you know, on an outdoor track, the smallest bit of rain, they just have to stop the racing. So hopefully this rain passes. Otherwise they're gonna to cancel today's racing. Two out of two wins for Ethan so far tonight. I should probably point out he is on the GB uh, Track Academy program, so he should be winning these races. But on now is like the Youth A, and they're doing a devil race. And in my opinion, this is the most exciting track race to watch. Essentially, the last rider every lap over the line gets uh, gets eliminated. So there's basically a sprint every lap. Now, right, boys, how's racing going tonight? Um, it's gone pretty well, yeah. How about you, Jamie? Um, yeah, it's all yeah. So, yeah. Are we having fun? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Now, my mate Ryan, he's trying to he's trying to persuade me to buy a track bike and get into track cycling. Should I? And why? Yeah, I think you should. Why? Um, I don't know. It's fun. Yeah. Just the um, local track league. Yeah. 
yeah, it's good, good to do. It's good training as well. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think you should get into track cycling. Something a bit different? Yeah, it's definitely. Makes definitely. you train up a little bit? Yeah, it's definitely different from the roads. All right. Ethan's up now for his third race. This is the points race. So apparently the riders get points every other lap. But if one of the riders laps the whole field, then that outweighs the points and they, they automatically are put into the lead. Ethan just picked up the first set of points. I mean, I think that's right. It's every other lap. I'm not entirely sure how many points they get, but I think I'm learning this whole track thing quite well. Clean sweep so far. He's picked up all the points available. Harry gets the two. You can at least make it look hard. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, fine. Three out of three. Ethan just set off for the final race of the evening. It is a 10 mile road, essentially a 10 mile road race. And it is 35 laps of this circuit. About halfway through the race, Ethan's been off the front a few times, there's a few guys dropped, but for the most part the group is still all together. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Four out of four wins for Ethan tonight. Uh, a really good night at the track. And it was also really fun to watch. The racing was really exciting. Yeah, that kind of makes me want to buy a track bike now and start track cycling. I'm just walking up to the car park and I've spotted this, uh, I don't even know what this thing is. Obviously one of the cyclists has, uh, has arrived in this because it's got a couple of spare wheels on the roof. What? What the hell is that? It looks like it's got a homemade bike rack on the roof there. I don't know if that's really, really cool or completely awful. There is a very, very fine line between the two. 